What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. This is going to be a day of eating. It's going to be a little bit different than my last few days of eating. Let me explain why. I think it was the last video where I talked a little bit about cheat meals and how I don't necessarily have cheat meals, but I do like to fit in meals that I'm craving into my macros. But when I do that sometimes, depending on the food that I'm craving, it kind of requires me to limit the amount of food I eat during the day to fit that in. Uh, last time, last week it was, it was a uh, California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken pizza. Say that, that's really difficult to say. Um, and I'm going to be having it again because it's actually really good. Um, so last time I talked about how it made me eat less during the day to fit that in. So today I'm going to actually show you everything that I eat during the day leading up to the pizza. And I'll also probably have Halo Top with the pizza as well. So um, it's actually the night before. I'm about to go to bed, but when I wake up to you, uh, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll catch up with you guys. It's a gym day. It's deadlifts and squats. Typically, I don't really like to eat much before the gym because I do like to save my calories for later in the day. But deadlifts and squats together is very taxing. So, oof, camera's getting heavy. So it is very taxing. So I am going to be having like an apple, banana, and a protein shake before, just because I do like to have something in my system for this workout. Otherwise, like I said, I do like to eat very, very little before the gym. Um, so yeah, that's what the video is going to be, day of eating leading up to a pizza. I'll show you what I do to my diet throughout the day in order to fit in about half my calories for that last meal. So let's do this. Good morning guys. So it's the following day. Like I said, uh, we used to have a protein shake. All it is here is 15 grams of protein. It's a uh, egg protein by Universal. And then we have here, I had cut up an egg, an egg. <laughs> I cut up an apple, a pink lady apple. Those are the best. And a banana. Uh, and that's all I'm having before the gym. Like I said, I don't like to eat much before the gym, but with squats and deads, I do feel like I need to have something in my system. Forgot to tell you guys last night when I recorded the intro, macros for today are 335 carbs, 90 fat, 200 protein. Basically what you're gonna see is, this is a small meal, snack, whatever you wanna call it. After the gym, I'll have a relatively large meal as well. Not that high in calorie, but pretty large in volume. You'll see that when I get back. Um, after that, I'm only going to really have a snack until the end of the day where I'll have uh, like my pizza that I'm saving up my macros for and my Halo top. So, going to eat this, going to go to the gym, not going to film today's workout for the video, but hopefully you guys watch my Instagram stories because the workout will be on there. And I'll catch up with you guys when I get back from the gym. What's up guys, back from the gym. All right, let me tell you what you see here. It's actually very similar to my other videos, but I promise this will be like the only thing that's like the other videos. So we have uh, three whole eggs. There's also 200 grams of egg whites. There's tomato, there's spinach. Now, that's a lot of bread, <laughs> right? So this is uh, eight slices of Nature's Harvest 40 calorie bread. So let me give a quick explanation. You saw I didn't really eat that much before the gym. And I'm not really going to be eating much until nighttime. So I do find if you're not going to eat a lot before the gym, it is important to get a good meal post-workout. Now each one of these, it's only 40 calories. So 40 times 8 is like 320 calories. The whole meal, I have to look. I'll put the macros on the screen, I guess. But it's only like 60-something carbs for the whole thing. So it's not a lot, even though it looks like a lot of bread. And I choose foods that will fill me up and are also relatively low in calories. So this meal kind of needs to satisfy me for a while. I will have a snack later in the day, but for the most part, this is going to be my main meal until nighttime. Um, you, might be, uh, you might be wondering how I fit eight uh, slices of bread in a toaster that's only supposed to handle like four slices of bread. Let me answer that question by leaving you with this. If you're able to carry all your groceries in the house with one trip, you can fit eight slices of bread in a four bread toaster. So anyway, I'm going to eat this. It's getting cold. Uh, I guess you're going to get mad if I don't like take a bite on camera or something, right? So let me do that. I put some of the eggs and the tomato and spinach on the bread like that. You see my other videos, you already know that. And that's basically it. So yeah, a lot of bread um, has to fill me up. So my snack later, you'll see my snack later. It's not very big, mostly protein. And that's what I'm doing. So I'll catch up to you in the next meal. All right, guys, here for meal number three. All right, so we have a Quest Protein Cookie. I told you guys this would be a snack. Um, and then this company, Pro, sent me some of this protein popcorn. Um, this one is the white cheddar. I'm having, it's in here in this cup. I'm having half the bag. Uh, it's, what is it? 
It's 10 grams of protein for like a serving, I believe it is. And there's two servings in here. I had it once. I'm not a huge popcorn fan, but if you like popcorn, this tastes just like that white cheddar popcorn, that like that old school one in that like black bag, if you if you guys know it. And then we also have the poverty brownie. So if you guys have not seen the poverty brownie, check out some of my other videos. It's essentially about the, the amounts vary depending on how much protein I need, but it's about like 15 grams of egg protein, 15 grams of casein, um, 10 grams of unsweetened Hershey cocoa, 8 grams of baking powder. You mix it all together with like 100 grams of water, put it in the microwave for about a minute, and it comes out like this brownie. I like it because it's very filling, very sweet, satisfies the sweet tooth. Um, as far as these Quest protein cookies, um, they're okay. Uh, the macros aren't great. This whole thing is 16 fat, very high fat. Decent carbs with 20 and 15 protein. It's better than those Lenny and Larry cookie in terms of macros, not in terms of taste. So these are okay as well. Um, so like I said, it's just this, this, pretty much a snack. Uh, pretty high protein, low carb, low fat, because I'm saving my calories for later in the day for the pizza. So um, let's see how this is. Probably not a good idea to eat this before chocolate, but too late. So I'm gonna eat this, and we'll catch up to you at the grand finale. All right, guys, so the oven is preheating. We are going to be making up this bad boy, like I said, California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken pizza. Uh, you preheat the oven to 400 degrees, and then you put this in for 15 to 17 minutes. So I'll do that. Unfortunately, I have to wait like 17 minutes, but for you guys, this is like instant. So the next clip you'll see is me about to eat the pizza. All right, guys, so I feel like something needs to be said. I don't want you guys thinking that I eat this delicious pizza every single day. Um, I know I had it in the last video, but keep in mind that was a week ago, so it is really once a week. I feel like what happens with people and flexible dieting is for, it starts off, you eat the same thing every single day, boring meals, and you're kind of scared to fit something else into your macros. Then you finally start like implementing, if it's your macros, flexible dieting, and you start putting in like non-typical foods in your diet, and then you do a complete 180 and you get obsessed with like fitting in stuff that you did not used to eat. So remember, macros are still not everything. Yes, I could technically fit this pizza into my macros today, but I really wouldn't recommend doing that every single day. Uh, one, I mean, it's like high in sodium. It's definitely not good for me. Two, it's so high. It, it, I mean, it's not that high in calorie. It's about 1,000 calories. It's uh, 102 carbs, 48 protein, 27 fat. But I am very hungry right now because I did have to limit my food for the uh, rest of the day before this to really fit this in. So keep in mind, flexible dieting is nice because you could treat yourself every once in a while, but you don't want to eat pizza every single day. I mean, think of it logically. Is it good for you to eat pizza every single day, even if you could fit it into your macros? Probably not. So I do want that to be clear. One, I don't eat this every day. I typically have something like this once a week. Um, I could do it more often, but the truth is, once a week is really enough for me. I really prefer eating like cleaner, cleaner, healthier foods that are more filling more so than this. Um, just to be healthy though, we do have a salad here. This is a whole bag of butter lettuce and it's low fat ranch dressing. Um, so now that I've been stalling and talking to you, hopefully it's not still hot. Uh, let me take a bite. And just as good as last week. All right, so I'm gonna eat this. I did tell you earlier, I'll also be having Halo Top. So when I finish this, finish the salad, I'll come back with Halo Top. How about right now? Actually, never mind. I was gonna tell you to guess what flavor, but you already saw the thumbnail, so you know it's pumpkin, so it's gonna be pumpkin. Sadly, the pizza's gone, but at least we have this pumpkin flavored Halo Top. Actually, I've had this one sitting in the freezer since about Halloween. Didn't expire yet, but I don't know. Pumpkin definitely surprised me when I had it. I did not expect to like it that much, partly because I don't really love pumpkin. But there's, if there's one thing I found out with Halo Top, even if you're not a fan of the flavor of the Halo Top, you still might actually like the flavor. So not a fan of pumpkin, I like pumpkin. Hate green tea, love the green tea. Don't like caramel, I like the salted caramel. So also don't like gingerbread, love the gingerbread. So. 
if you never had a flavor, if you think you might not like it, you'll probably like it because I've actually liked all of them. Um, like this one. So let's try it now. And it still tastes great. So we will be wrapping up the night with this. And I think that will wrap up the video. So Halo Top, usually I'll have this once a week as well, but you could have it more often. But like I said, I don't recommend trying to fit in an entire, um, an entire pizza in your macros every single day. Like once a week, I guess you could do it. But really, health is important too. Macros are obviously important, but you do want to uh, pay attention to the quality of the food as well as the macros. So I'm going to finish this. Going to wrap up the video. If you like the video, I feel like it was a little boring. I was like sitting in this chair a lot. Um, but hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Just to be clear, I do not consider this a cheat meal or a cheat day by any means. It does fit my macros. The macros are the same today as they are every other day. But I do consider it more like a, I guess like a treat day. Not a cheat day, but a treat day. So that's the video. See you in the next one.